Welcome back. Welcome back to the Halacha series. For Evan Ha'ezer, we are continuing in Simon Alev in Halacha Dalad. Very small Halacha, no Behater, no Petchit Teshuva, but a very interesting Beit Yosef, which I have to do. The Halacha says, Umi Shechashka Nafsho Batora Ki Ben Azay Tamid. If somebody's soul is attached, its longing, its desires for Torah, like Ben Azai constantly, and he's attached to Torah all the days of his life, in the end he didn't marry a woman, and he has no sin in his hand, he did nothing wrong. That as long as the evil inclination does not overpower him, meaning he doesn't have bad thoughts. Rabotai, you could see from a very, two important concepts. What does it mean to attach oneself? To what extent can one be in love with the Torah? Like Ben Azai. Tamid. Constantly. Nothing else matters. Only Torah. But not only that, Rabotai. But he says also over here, that that's as long as the Yetahar does not overpower you. This is why in the previous Shurim we spoke about, even if you have a person that goes ahead and he has a longing to be with Torah and to learn Torah constantly, and he cannot be without the Torah, fine. But in today's generation, depending of course where you live, or even doesn't matter because with the technology, you know, Rabotai, a person can see all types of immodest things. Now, if the Yetzirah overpowers you, even if you are like Ben Azai, that has a longing for Torah, and you always learn in Torah, but there, there, there's that time in the day that you fall, or that you have a Hirurim, uh, you think about woman, this type of person, we tell him, he has to get married. Like we explained in the in Halakha Gimel. Rabotai, the interesting thing about this Halakha is, who is the one that is saying this member? From where does this come? If we look into the Beit Yosef, in Allah Dalit, listen what the Beit Yosef says. Beper Kabaal Yivamto, which which the Morjad as Masech Yivamot of Samach Gimul Amud Bet. Listen to who says these words. Tanit was taught. Ben Azai Omer. Rabotai, the son of Azai says. Kol she'eno osek bepriya urvia. Anybody who's not bringing children into the world, meaning he's not dealing in being fruitful and multiplying, it's as if he's spilling blood. And he also minimizes the Shekhinah's appearance because every single Jew has the appearance of Hashem in him. Rabotai, who said these words? You know something? One second, let me see something. I think this was Allah Aleph. Rabotai, Chayav Kol Adam Nisayisha Halach Aleph. Every single person is obligated to marry a woman in order to be fruitful and multiply. And anybody who's not dealing in the midst of being fruitful and multiplying, it's as if he's spilling blood, meaning he's a, he's a murderer. And he minimizes the image of HaKadosh Baruch and he causes the Shekhinah to leave the Jewish people. Rabotai, what does the Beit Yosef tell us over here? Who said that that, that halach, who is it based off? Ben Azai. But what's the problem? Ben Azai wasn't married. That's what they told him. They said to him, Amrullah, they said to him, Atana edoresh ve'ena ed mikayim. You're beautiful. You know how to teach Torah beautiful. But why don't you fulfill the Torah the way you teach it? Right? There's a the, the whole thing that Chazal tell us. Na edoresh ve'ena ed mikayim. People, they know how to drasha, blah, 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 blah. But they don't do whatever they say. But there are people that they speak and they do. Comes the Chacham and they tell him, but Azai, but you're not married. Na'e <laughs> Doresh, you're saying beautiful. Yes, somebody who's not ointing in Priya, beautiful. But why aren't you married? You know what he said to them? Amalahem, he said to them, Ma e'aseh, what should I do? Ve'nafshi chashka b'Torah. My soul desires Torah. My soul longs for Torah. To be without Torah, Rabotai, is like to be without air. 
People don't understand what is Torah. It is so sad when you see today people waste. They waste their life. I'm not going to even say they waste their time, Rabotai. They waste their life away on garbage. I was speaking to one of my boys. Speaking to one of my boys. You know, especially with children, you, with all that's going on, this guy has a nice car, this guy has a nice house, this guy did a wedding, he was throwing hundreds yesterday. Rabotai Shtuyot, I go to that with I come out of Mincha, I have to hear this, especially when my boys are with me. My boys, I try to educate them, everything is Torah. So I told the person that actually told me this, very good guy, he actually, very nice guy, I probably going to see this, whatever it is, very nice, very nice guy, he meant, he meant well. He just said, Rabbi, did you hear about what happened and the wedding and the money and the blah, 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 whatever. Rabotai, I saw my son was next to me. I saw my son was next to me. So I told him, if the wedding is so important, if that's what everything that they're doing is so important, why didn't Chacham Avadi do it? Why didn't Rav Chaim Kanievsky do it? Why didn't Rav Yaakov Shal Kanievsky do it, the stipple of Rav? Why didn't the Ben Ishchai do it? Why doesn't Rav Yitzchak Yosef do it? Why doesn't Rav Dov Yosef do it? Why doesn't, why don't all the Gedolim do it? That means it's not important. It's important for stupid people. It's not, Rabotai it doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to go out and waste your time like that, to waste your life. Because they know what's important. Ben Azay Rabotai, can you imagine Rabotai, the, the Gadud, his greatness, his whole being was only to be with Torah. What should I do? I can't have no control over myself. You're right. You're right. I'm, what should I do? I, I can't control myself. This is, I'm all about Torah. Rabotai, learn, Rabotai, say, learn from our Gedon, learn from our Tanaim, Amuraim, learn from our Rishonim, Achronim, the later generation Achronim, learn from them what's important. Stop looking at everything everybody else is doing. Is believe me, it's not important. To be away from Torah is like taking oxygen away from a person's life. Without oxygen, you cannot be a minute. That's what you have to feel when you're not learning Torah. A minute without Torah is like getting no more In any event, I wanted to share this with you because it's not. He is the one who teaches this halacha. He's the one who teaches this um, a member the state the the uh, saying. And then the halach is like, yeah, but even though it's na'ev, na good, well, we are able to excuse you, you know why? You're right, na'ev doresh ve'enu na'ev mikayem, you're right, that shouldn't be done. Somebody who expounds, but he doesn't keep, we will never listen to such a person. But this is out of his control. This is not, not, not nothing that, um, this is not within his control. What can he do, Rabotai? What can he do? In any event, so this was the halacha in Rabotai, and Simon al halacha dalit. Umi shechashka nafsho betura ki ben azay tamid. Learn, Rabotai, learn. Have a longing attachment. Constantly. In any event, we're going to conclude. Let's do a small recap. Somebody who desires to be with Torah like ben azay constantly. And he's attached with all his days. And he didn't marry a woman. We're going to tell you he didn't do no sin. That as long as the Yitzhahara did not overpower him. Have a blessed day. Baruch Adonai Olam. Amen. Amen.